Hello and welcome back to another Revit Architecture CAD clip. I had a question about creating a stair with a kind of a fancy flared out base like this so I thought I would answer that with a quick video. So um, what we do is uh, I've got this one here pre-built and I'm going to click on there and I've got that grouped. I'm going to ungroup it for now. Okay. And what this really is, is it's a little bit sneaky. This is one stair. Okay. It is a stair and that's another stair. Okay. Two different stairs. So let's look at the top one. We click on that and hit edit. Okay. Let's have a look at it from level one. I'm in sketch mode. Okay. All it is is two boundaries. Okay. When we're in our drawing our stairs we can use boundaries and risers so boundaries are the kind of the stringers okay I've got two of those and you can tell because they're green and then I've got some riser lines which are these black lines okay and notes note the bottom I've got a riser here and here and then this loops around to here okay so a couple of properties as well let's have a look in our stair properties okay first of all it starts from level one up by seven and a half inches because I know the distance that I'm going to go here is uh, or I actually I have to adjust that but um, the um, distance here is what needs to be uh, the same distance as what one of the risers is going to be okay so uh, that we have to uh, set off the floor and then up to level one plus six feet which is where the platform is so we just have to raise the stair up okay the other thing I'm gonna have a look in here and I play with this sometimes and um, I'm gonna turn that back on end with a riser okay that's your choice um, whether you want to do that and we've seen some other CAD clips on the advantages and and almost uh, a little bit of setbacks with this tool here to get our top riser to clean up so we're gonna turn that back on and I'm just gonna have a look back down here Oh, actual number of risers is different yes I'm aware of that so then I'm gonna go down here to 9 and 9 so that's actually okay now okay so that's fine and hit OK. So I've got two boundaries and these are my riser lines including these arcs okay and those were my properties and that's the top stair okay that's this part so now this guy okay I also have um, shown that my nosing goes on all three sides here so it wraps around if you look at the property same as this one let's hit our edit button on that okay and it's got two riser lines and two boundaries just like that let's go to our level one this one's even more simple okay riser riser and then two boundary lines here okay and I need to go into the stair properties and I'm going to say uh, edit and I'm going to say duplicate and I'm going to create another one and I'm going to say um, not end with a riser okay hit OK so this one is going to have a different property where it's not going to end with a riser for that one that one little stair hit OK and then that's it two riser lines two boundary lines done okay so I go to my 3d view and that's the stair it creates the other property I do have on there if you click on here in the stair type is um, treads apply nosing front left and right so that's how I'm getting that to wrap around on there okay okay and okay so then all I do now is click on these two guys and group them together call that you know stair 4 hit OK done maybe go to my site plan pick on that group mirror using pick point here across to there mirrors that group over and then escape escape 3d view and there's my uh, stairs in fact I see that same riser problem that drives us crazy there at the top so I'm going to click on there and say edit the group and I'm actually going to take that stair and change it to be the no end riser and that's going to fix that and I'm going to get that silly error telling me number is wrong I just have to do that and then finish and then because I've changed that and that's a group of that that should update that guy over there 
uh, delete all line toppers does not intersect one or both so hmm I guess I will delete the item and then I will have to re mirror that group so oh look at there it is it's a little buggy let's delete it and I would say go back and re mirror that by picking on here and doing our mirror again so a little change at the top last minute change to get that top riser to clear up and now I'm gonna get that same message and that is what I want my result to be